Hi students, let us discuss electrical material question asked in TS Genco AE examination electrical paper 2024. Right. So, total number of questions from this subject is 3, sir. 3 questions were asked. So, first question is from magnetic materials. Magnetic materials. In this magnetic material, they asked a question from soft and hard magnetic materials soft and hard magnetic materials second question is from ceramic material ceramic materials in this we got chemical composition of steatite chemical composition position of composition of steatite material Right, sir. Third one is from photoconductive materials. Photoconductive materials. Here we need to compare threshold wavelength of different semiconductive materials. So threshold. Threshold wavelength of different semiconductors. Right, sir. Different semiconductors. So we'll discuss one by one in detail right so first question is which one of the following statements are incorrect they are asking incorrect regarding hysteresis loop of hard and soft magnetic materials hysteresis loop of hard and soft magnetic materials that means we need to compare cohesivity hysteresis loop area and retentivity of hard and soft magnetic materials right so what is remanence or retentivity it is the magnetic field it is the magnetic field available in the magnetic material when h is zero that means externally applied magnetic field is zero that is known as remanence or retentivity right sir so denoted as br right then what is cohesivity cohesivity is nothing but it is the field applied in opposite direction to completely demagnetize the magnetic material. Right, sir. So, this is the HC, denoted as HC, cohesivity. Right. So, we will discuss the points. Soft magnetic materials are generally electromagnets. Generally electromagnets. So, best example is transformer core relay coil right sir so electromagnets are easy to magnetize and demagnetize easy to magnetize and demagnetize that means its <coughs> cohesive field is very less compared to hard magnetic materials so cohesive field of soft magnetic materials cohesive field of soft magnetic materials less right sir also <coughs> its retentivity is also less right so retentivity of soft magnetic materials is also less if hc is less means width of the bh loop is less br is less means height of the hysteresis loop is less then obviously area okay sir loop area of soft magnetic material is less right in other side hard magnetic materials hard magnetic materials are permanent magnets hard magnetic materials are permanent magnets so permanent magnets are difficult to magnetize and demagnetize so difficult to demagnetize Right, sir. Why? Because coercive field of the hard magnetic material is very high compared to soft magnetic materials. See, very high. Right, sir. So that's why it is difficult to demagnetize. And retentivity or remanence of hard magnetic materials also high. So if width is high, height is high means obviously area of the big H loop is high. So area of hysteresis slope is also high right so 
come to the question so cohesivity of hard magnetic materials is greater than that of soft magnetic materials yes this are this one is correct then hysteresis loop area of hard magnetic material is less than that of soft magnetic materials this one is wrong because hysteresis loop area of the hard magnetic material is not lesser it's a greater than that of soft magnetic materials then retentivity of hard and soft magnetic materials always equal no sir not always equal in general hard magnetic material retentivity is high compared to soft magnetic materials okay so 2 and 3 is incorrect what they are asking in question incorrect statements so 2 and 3 means correct answer is 4 option 4 right sir Second question is the ceramic material steatite is composed of four options are given. First, discuss what is steatite, right, sir? So, steatite is a ceramic material. Steatite is a ceramic material based on natural raw materials. Ceramic material based on natural raw materials why i am telling natural raw material means state it is a type of metamorphic rock right sir it's a type of metamorphic metamorphic rock so state it is mainly composed of that means almost 98 percentage mainly composed of mainly composed of that means 98 percentage clay talc then magnesium silicate and very less amount of about two percentage right sir very less amount of quartz, feldspar, and iron chromium oxide. Okay, sir. So, <clears throat> from this, we can say the best option is two, right. See, magnetite is nothing but main source of magnesium silicate. Magnesite is main source for magnesium silicates. Right, sir. So, choice 2 is the best one. Right. The third question is the increasing order of threshold wavelength increasing order of threshold wavelength of the following photoconducting materials they are given four photoconducting materials gallium arsenide indium antimonide silicon and germanium let us discuss in detail so what is threshold wavelength we know threshold wavelength lambda t is equal to product of flanks constant and velocity divided by energy band gap eg right where h is planck's constant planck's constant its value is 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 in joules second then c is velocity c is velocity its value is 3 into 10 to the power 8 in meters per second eg is energy band gap energy band gap in electron volts right sir in electron volts if you substitute the flanks constant velocity in this lambda t finally we get lambda t is equal to 1.243 divided by eg in electron volts okay so this equation in micrometer this equation in micrometer so from this equation 
we get the relation relation between lambda t and eg as lambda t inversely proportional to energy band gap right sir inversely proportional to energy band gap by using this relation we can solve the question without finding the wavelength if you know eg it's a matter of 10 to 15 seconds sir right so silicon so energy band gap of silicon at 300 kilo that means at room temperature is 1.11 electron volt right germanium 0 0.66 electron volt indium antimonide 0 0.17 electron volt indium antimonide is the semiconducting material having low energy band gap in third and fifth group semiconductor elements right so gallium arsenide is 1.43 electron volt as we know the relationship between lambda t and eg is inversely proportional in the question they are asking increasing order of wavelength that means we need to write decreasing order of eg means we will get increasing order of lambda t because of inverse so we get gallium arsenide then silicon then germanium then indium antimonide right sir so this is the answer if you substitute this energy band gap in that threshold wavelength formula you get threshold wavelength of silicon at 300 kelvin is 1.12 micrometer for germanium 1.88 micrometer for indium antimonide 7.31 micrometer for gallium arsenide 0 0.87 micrometer for increasing order means so first one is gallium arsenide second one is silicon third one is germanium and fourth one is indium antimonide so correct option is third one sir right gallium arsenide silicon germanium indium antimonide this is the correct answer thank you